Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a countdown watch in Excel. First, we will see a very short demo and after that, we will learn how to do this. So, first you have to reset the countdown timer. Click on reset and here you have to type hour, minute or second. So, if you want a countdown for one hour, then type here 0, 1, 0, 0, sorry, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then submit, you will get a countdown timer for one hour. Then click on start. Then you can see countdown starts. And if you want to stop this, click on stop then it stops and again if you want to start it will start from where it's end and again if you want to reset this to 10 second then reset this just type here one zero submit so we got 10 seconds and start so in this way this countdown timer works so now we will learn how to do this but before that i request you to subscribe our channel and hit the like button to show your love for us so let's begin this tutorial first create a new sheet and select these two pictures and copy it and paste it here and move this okay move this here and this one to here okay now select this range and merge it so here we will create the timer so type 00, zero colon 00, zero colon zero, 00 okay now we have to format this cell because here for the hour it's showing one plus so right click format cell the custom type here hh colon mm colon ss then okay then we'll format this cell go to home make it center then select the font of your choice increase the font size as required and after that change the background color to this one and a border that is for more borders select a border color and the thickness then click outline okay now we will create three buttons start stop and reset so go to insert illustration shape and this rectangular now drag here Go to format, no outline, shape effect, preset, this one. Now select this cell, press control and shift and drag the cell. Okay. Now select these three cells and go to format and align then distribute horizontally. Now you can make it little on the left side. Okay. Now right click, edit text, start, then right click, edit text, stop, and here right click, edit text, reset. Now again select these three cells, go to home make it center middle select the font of your choice increase the font size okay now we will create the vva macro so for that press alter f11 and go to insert and click on module and here we will paste the code paste the code here okay so first we have 
declared public interval as state so we have declared it in the general and now here this is the code for starting the timer so if i7 dot value equal to 0 then exit sub that is if the value of this cell is 0 then it will exit the sub for the countdown it should not be 0 it must be more than 0 that is for 5 second or 10 second timer you want to set so this cell should not be 0 so for that this cell is h7 so here it should be h7 h7 that value equal to 0 then exit sub else it will change the range h7 value to h7 minus 1 second then we declared interval equal to now plus 1 second and here after that it will again go to the start timer and subtract one second again in this way it will go again and again until the h7 value becomes zero so this is application dot on time interval comma start timer. so this code will start your countdown timer then stop timer in stop timer application dot on time earliest time interval so here we got the earliest time so here we got the interval time so it will take here the time from this place and procedure equal to start timer and schedule equal to false so this code will stop running the countdown timer click on reset button first it will stop the timer and after that it will make h7 to 0 after that say timer dot show that means this is a user form for setting up the time of the countdown so this user form will show up so now we will create this user form so go to insert click on user form then make it to this okay now select text box so this one is text box so select here this then you can copy this okay and here you can type label you can type here h H okay and after that select this two and copy this here and also copy this here move it to this place this two here okay now put this level here okay now select the font size for this level you can put here H or you can type our anything so go to font you can select the font size and font size that is suppose you take here Cambria bold size 12 or 16 okay so we got our then copy this here so here it should be minute and here type s for second and now type here to button so this one command button and create another one okay now here sorry 
we have to change the caption of this button so select this type here submit and here a reset okay so our user form is somehow ready okay now we have to rename all this so first select this one type here name h1 for this one it should be h2 and okay it's fine now this one m1 this one m2 this one s1 and this one is s2 okay so we have given all these text box names now we'll rename these buttons so here rename it as submit button select here and sub btn and for this one type here name rst btn okay so we have renamed these buttons and now we will create code for this so double click here and delete this one and we will paste the code here so whenever uh, let's go to the user form and whenever you click on this submit button two times then you will see that these two lines this one and this end sub this two will appear and when we click on this reset button then this line and this line will appear we have to enter this code so here with me here me is the user form so with me dot h1 equal to blank h2 equal to blank then m1 m2 s1 s2 all will be blank that means whenever we open this user form then all the boxes that means all these boxes will be blank when you run this all this should be blank and for a submit button with me if dot h1 equal to blank then dot h1 equal to 0 and if in this way we will create for all the text boxes you can see if dot h2 equal to blank then dot h2 equal to 0 so all the values of the text box will be 0 if that box is blank and that value will be transferred to h7 and the value will be pasted as me dot h1 and me dot h2 then colon then again and me dot m1 and me dot m2 then colon and me dot s1 and me dot s2 so if we put 10 second then here it should be 0 0 here also 0 0 and for s1 1 and for s2 0 so it will take 10 second timer and then unload me that is the user form will be unloaded and then end sub and after that here we have given a code so that whenever this form opens this button will not work you can see here when you run this this button will not work you have to enter the value then you submit or reset you cannot close this user form by clicking this close button so for that 
we have given private sub user form query close so this one query close cancel as integer it this line will be automatically given and we have to enter if close mode equal to vva control menu then cancel equal to true and if so this is the very simple code now after this your user form will open and it will close only when you submit click the submit button and the close button will not work and now we will rename this user form as timer so go to alphabet here user form type timer okay and then go to module 1 and here instead of set timer type only timer okay now the coding has been completed now save this file and go to excel and now you have to assign the macro right click assign macro start timer okay right click assign macro stop timer okay right click assign macro reset timer okay so click on start you can see nothing is happening because here the value is zero so first we have to reset the timer right click we will give it for 10 second then submit we got 10 second now click on start timer it's working but here is another problem with the user form that is whenever you click on reset first the cursor is on this text box when you press tab it come here then it came here not here then it moved to here then it moved to here after that it moving here so we have to change the tab order so for that go to visual basic first select this text box and go to categorize and minimize all this let's see here tab index so type here one then select this one type here two then select this one three then this one four five then six for this one seven and this one eight now let's see set this one go to excel reset so first is here I press tab tab okay it's okay now the tab order is perfect so in this way you have to create the countdown timer in excel with the help of vva so i hope you have understood this tutorial and if you have any questions or queries regarding this tutorial you can contact me in the comment section and if you like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial